motors. Start your engines. What's up everyone, it's your boy NS Racing 42 aka Nathan Sapienia and welcome everyone to Walk to Walk on Glen International and we are set to go racing for the qualifying heat race here to see if we will make it into see if we will make it into the point line 175. The second and final World Course event on the season for these truckers and is at Walk on Glen International. A two mile plus long road course, a very long road course, and the way that we do it here in the um, in IOA is that we take uh, the boot. So we skip the carousel, but we skip the bus stop, I should say, and then we go straight into the boot. So it's going to be a short race, only five laps. And, um, the top system will make it into the point line 175. No cautions, as always, here on these world courses. And this is one of those places where there's a lot of trouble spots that there can be if we're not careful. The top 10 will be Aunt Monaco and Clinton Moore. I'm Trey White and Alice Ponson Moore. Say Diaz and Bradley Ween. Um, Clark McKee and Tyler Fink are mounting up the top 10 is Jeff Scott and uh, Trey Smith. And it's Monaco who won at Texas World, I believe, and stole one from one of the full timers. And we have to wait and see if one of the six drivers. Can steal one from the chases later on tonight. After a long pace lap, pace truck will dive onto pit road and that will lead the hands into Air Marco and Quentin Moore, and we are going for the qualifying heat race for the, for the um, point line of 175. And Clint Moore leads it into the boot for the first time here today. Alex Bonsignor in second, and then the battle for third between Amaya Monaco and Trey White. First time for these truckers here at Watkins Glen International, but it won't be the last time, so that's for sure. Bonsignor in second, Quintmore in the lead. It looks like Quintmore will lead that number one that's on as he does not mess up his last two turns. Trouble spot here at Watkins Glen is the um, elusive final turn, and Quintmore almost hits that right wall. Clark McKee hits that final wall three. Um, not very right, but Chef. Scott hits the outside wall as well. We're gonna see that all day long. <laughs> um, these guys making mistakes and hitting that wall off of turn number 11. But 
went to one red light number one Alex Barcelona in second. So is Aunt Monaco, fourth Bradley Wing, fifth is the forty two is the thirty eight, excuse me, of Trey White. And then right now in that last transfer spot is the O four of Sayo Diaz. So a long way to go here at Watkins Glen, still three and a half laps left. But right now it's running awfully strong for points more in the field world spot to make it in. Battle for that last transfer spot though, well, actually for fifth between Trey White and Sayo Diaz. Let's see, real quick more hit the outside wall of somebody going to miss the same angle that he went last time. And this time he does, into the outside wall goes Quinton Moore and a couple others. Tyler Finkin into the outside wall, Mark Davidson and, and Jacob Dillon as well into the outside wall. And the Alice Ponson you want out for it now here at Rockland, at, here at, at the Glen. And who knows, that could happen on, on the last lap of the very last turn. And someone with, with the outside wall could miss out on making it into the point line 175. White House Bonson were out front after the mistake from Clinton Moore. Going into the boot. Sometimes these guys can make a mistake on overshoot the S up this time, but it looks like we are clean. And good to go so far. Single file got this field. Doing it doing a pretty good job, just nice and calm. At least as of now. Give out the Glen. Monster is trying to do what Prince Moore's been doing. But Quinton Moore runs wide and he's going to send it down deep into turn number 11. Monster keeps it off the wall but Quinton Moore got a great one off the turn 11. Two laps to go out the Glen. Almost three wide. That is three wide for the race leader Van Marco, but he put the um the the, the turn one curb and that cost them a lot a lot of time. And Morton might have a good chance at taking this race this race lead away from Bonson Newell going into the carousel. Side drop going into the carousel. And Quentin Moore will take the race lead back from Alice Bonson Newell. But Bonson Newell is going to have the prefer lane in it in that turn. But then in this turn, Quentin Moore is going to have the prefer lane and he's going to take the race lead away officially. Quentin Moore back out for one. Right now, the battle for the last spot is between Trey Smith and Clark McKee. Actually, no, it's not. 
when I'll say Diaz has that last spot though. The spot McKee went way wide in the 27th. Battle for the way sleep between Fonson and Ewing and Clinton Moore. Almost made contact and oh, Trey Smith and Clark McKee. Osman Hamid, Casey Nianico cause flipping wildly. Big crash on the front stretch. Johnny Garner is destroyed and Osman Hamid is destroying. Trey Smith is destroying. Now, um, unless Trey, um, unless Scott can catch up to Diaz, the top six is how it, they will finish and make it into the main event. Still half a lap to go. Monaco back up to second. Battle for second might cost him the race win, and Bonsignor might be able to get this race win if he doesn't mess up in that last turn. It looks like he will not have any challenge. As long as he does not hit the outside wall, he will be perfectly fine. And he's good, so Alex Bonsignor will make it. And oh, can just Scott get there? No, he won't. The 6th plus that will make it into the main event for the point line of 175. It will be Alex Bonsignor. A minute, Margot, Quinton Moore, Trey White, Bradley Ream, and Sarah Diaz. But for everyone else, they will have to wait till Talladega Super Speedway to have a shot at making it into the Powerade White Cherry to the feet. So there you have it, Bonsignor, Monaco, Moore, White, Ream, Diaz, Scott, Miles, well, Diaz is the last call to make it, and then Scott, Miles, Davidson, Dillons, Fink, Nanico, Hamid, Garner, Smith, and Clark McKee all failed to make it into the main event. Um, we will not look at the crash since we always saw a weapon. Um, with the melee between Clark McKee and several others. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching here at Watkins Glen International for the qualifying heat race. Um, until later on tonight for race number 12 on the season, race 2 of the playoffs and race 2 of the, of the round of 8 for the free line 175. I will see you guys later on tonight. Bye!